Hey guys, Ian Fernando here. Uh, I just landed in Brazil. Um, I'm actually in Rio de Janeiro and I'm uh, actually pretty excited to be here. Um, I had to leave Colombia just because my visa extended. I'm only allowed 180 days out there. So I was thinking to go to Mexico City and then I was like, man, I've been there before. So where do I want to go? And then a bunch of my friends are uh, in Brazil. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go to Brazil and see what's up with everybody there. So I'm here now. Um, one thing I want to add and the reason why I'm making this video is because uh, as a traveler, uh, and I've been traveling full time for pretty much six years, on and off for 12, right? Uh, so I've been moving from Airbnb to hotels pretty much the past six years. And what happens when I travel is I'm like, hey man, where do I need to go? Or I'm actually going to Brazil, uh, more specifically here when I told people I'm going to be going to Brazil, especially in Rio. Um, that they don't say, you know, enjoy your travels, you need to check out the beaches, you need to go here, enjoy the food, you know, learn the culture, hopefully you'll understand the language real quick. A lot of people tend to be like, man, why are you going to Brazil? I, I hear there's always it's this huge crime rate there, you know, worse than Medellin. Um, the robbery rate is super high there. Uh, why are you choosing there? Well, be safe with your travels. Make sure you don't have your phones out. Make sure you have a backup wallet, backup phone. And I, I'm like, why do people tend to just say, say that um, to a traveler or a person that is traveling, right? I get it, you want your friend, your family member to, to be safe, but in order for them to be safe, you need to stop them uh, from fearing the fearful or what is usually the common issue. Robberies happen around the world. Um, I know when I was in Morocco, I got jumped without even expecting it. In Spain, I got uh, pickpocketed. Uh, I got into a fight there. In Vietnam, my laptop was stolen. I mean, there's so many things that have gone wrong, which naturally happens around the world, right? Um, the fact that when you're trying to tell somebody to enjoy uh, the destination they're going to, People tend to just tell them, be careful, watch your back. Instead, just be like, hey, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the coffee there. There's this food you should try out there. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, you know, meet new people, uh, be smart when introducing yourself. Things of that nature that puts into more of a positive vibe for the end user. Because when you tell somebody like, oh man, why are you going there? It's such, it's such a high crime rate. Then this. And the traveler or the person you're talking to gets this fearful fact, this stamp on the head or in the back of your head of like what might happen, right? Usually those things will never happen as long as you are enjoying yourself um, and not looking like an idiot, right? Um, there's a lot of it happening in Medellin, for sure. There's a lot of these groups that just tell fear mongering stories, which is horrible. Uh, Medellin is such a beautiful, beautiful city. There's a lot of things to enjoy about it. You know, robberies happen. It's that's what's part of life, right? You're when you don't have enough, bad things kind of happen, right? So, I don't like the fact when people travel and you tell your friends um, that actually never traveled before, right? Uh, they tell you to be to watch your back, have a backup wallet, have a backup phone, and all that stuff. You know, and it's interesting to me that uh, people that haven't had experience of traveling don't do this. Even the digital nomads I meet around the world, um, they're not heavy experienced travels either. They're just in these countries just because it's cheap and they can afford a better lifestyle than if, as if they're living in a Western culture, you know. So this is the thing or the rant I have today um, or yes I was gonna do it yesterday but I was so tired from like traveling I had an overnight flight from Bogota into Rio and I figured let me just unpack set up my computer set up my workstation and all that and uh, move in and just uh, rest and today I feel a little bit better I'm, I'm two hours one hour ahead of EST two hours ahead of Columbia so my body clock just needed just for a Two more days and I think I'll be good but yeah that's the thing about it um, when you want somebody to enjoy themselves in anything I believe you should never put in a negative connotation because negativity sits in the back of a person's head longer than positivity does 
right? That's because as human natures, we expect only good things to happen, right? When we start becoming fearful, that's becoming, there's that stamp in the back of your head where it's just like, oh man, I got to watch, I have to look, I got to, be. and then you look more of like an idiot in public, the higher your chance that you're gonna get robbed. So that's the thing about uh, people, you know, they they try to protect you, but they, they tend to make you look more obvious. And that's what one thing you don't want to do when you travel. Um, and especially for me, I've learned over time where I've traveled. And when, and when I travel, I try to just inject myself with local people. I try to get local friends pretty much right away. Um, this way, I get engulfed in food. And I get engulfed in culture. And that's the reason why I enjoy traveling. And it's one of the perks of traveling. I get to understand their point of view and learn from their point of view, their culture, their foods, what they're doing, why they do this, you know, it's, and that's how I tend to travel. A lot of people, they go to the resort, they go to the tourist area, they go to the safety neighborhoods, you know what I mean? For me, exploration is what keeps my mind active and driven and constant learning, and I hate to be stagnant when I, when I ever travel. So, word of advice to people that do not travel, do not tell people that um, to be careful when you've never been experienced. Even when I'm uh, in the digital nomad groups, I'll be like, hey, I, I'll rob you. At least you trust me, I'll rob you. So you have the experience of being robbed, right? Um, and it's so funny, the, the reaction that people get. Uh, just, they just don't have the experience to actually be in a wrong neighborhood. And I get it, not a lot of people do. So, but also looking like an obvious idiot uh, puts you in a more dangerous situation and uh, enjoying yourself, you know what I mean? So in life, we just want to enjoy ourselves and that's what the way it should be. I feel like people should never tell other people, especially travelers or anybody to have a fear mongering story or a fearful. And this is the reason why the news controls society. It's the reason why I don't watch the news, right? This is the reason why less positive news are around the world. Sure, we should be aware and we should understand Right, but that should never be the main concept of ideology, uh, in my opinion. So, let me start my day. I will hit you up, guys. There was just a quick vlog uh, for the YouTube. I've kind of adjusted my YouTube a little bit. Just a bunch of random videos, travels, information, uh, entrepreneurship, things like that. So, as you can see, you'll probably see my name, Ian Fernando, vlog on uh, YouTube. That's the reason why I'm changing it. So, uh, talk soon, and that's it. Later.